What is up my dudes and welcome back to the channel. Today is actually a viewer suggestion. A couple people actually suggested that I fly the G56 and in case you aren't aware, I have actually featured the G56 on my channel once in the past and my takeaway from that video was it basically felt like, how do I put this lightly, um, the worst best 6.3 aircraft in the game. So it's very good in a down tier, but once you start facing other 6.3s like the Bearcat, um, Spitfires, you know, Tempests, uh, P-51Hs, um, Corsairs, F-2G for example, um, it can get very dicey very quickly, especially in a one-on-one -on -one engagement when it's just you and them and you don't have teammates to back you up. Um, yeah, it can get very sketchy very quickly and you will find yourself at a disadvantage. 8 times out of 10, I'd say. So, yeah. Um, let's hope that my viewpoint on this aircraft can change. I'm cautiously optimistic that it can change. Um, so, yeah. We'll just, uh, we'll just get into it and see what happens. Do it. Alright. We did get up tier 2, 6, 7. Unfortunately, we got... M262, J21s, AR234, a Kika, up high. I'm surprised he was actually able to climb all the way up here as quickly as he did. F8F, a lot of FTGs, a lot of FTGs, holy crap. Alright, and we are at about 15,000 feet. Not super high, but, you know, not, not super low either. Okay, that Bearcat looks like he is having a rough time. I might try to save this J288 from this guy. Okay. Alright, now I gotta watch out for this guy. Okay, that didn't feel too good. Alright, let's go this way. And let's begin maneuvering. Alright, he looks like he's not going to be doing too hot. Alright, I think the move actually is going to be come down here, down low, because we did get out climbed pretty bad, so uh, we can't really use our high altitude performance because, you know, we got out climbed. There's nothing much we can really do. So I'm just going to come down here and try and help out down here instead. F2G. He's dead. Very quick burst from these MG-151s. We'll show them what for. Alright, that one's dead. And this one is maneuvering. He is on fire. I'm not gonna steal that. And everyone else is up in the stratosphere. Unfortunately, we did get out climb, like I said. This thing performs really good at high altitude uh, unfortunately couldn't really show that off this match because obvious reasons that have been stated already numerous times P51H another P51H J6 Kika luckily we didn't take too much damage so we should be mostly okay all right, high-speed retract flaps. Okay, yep. All right, they are gonna keep going. J six. Don't know how those missed. P fifty one H. Okay, let's try and help this TA-152 out. Okay, and my aim is just off this match, and I can't really explain why. Alright, I'm the only one left over here. That is not good, because that. Yep. RIP 34k. Alright, we were lucky enough to get... You know, another up tier 6-7, but we didn't get out climbed this time, so that is very good. Couple, a uh, few F2Gs, F4U, 
and a couple other things that haven't been spotted yet and uh, okay cool we got two more fighters that's uh, loaded in when this match started there was only two fighters and four bombers and this FTG is aware of my presence I just want to try and get as high above him as I can hopefully bleed off a lot of his energy if he tries to go alright well he didn't do it alright his best bet would probably be to dive away from me alright let me see if I can pull on him okay there he goes hits nothing serious critted elevator damage let's hope it's enough I don't think it is AD4 alright there he is uh, I don't think I want to chase him there's a couple more F2G's around Right, he is definitely going to go back to base. That's a Spitfire. I hope it's not a Mark 22 or a Mark 24. If it is, this could become very difficult very quickly. If he spots me, which I hope he doesn't. Oh, well. Okay. I mean, I guess. Uh, okay, yep, we're going for him. Spitfire. Try and save this 109. Uh, let's kill the throttle. Okay, I didn't expect him to be coming straight up. Alright. Ah, oh, dang it. Not, cl not quick enough. Wasn't quick enough to save the 109, unfortunately. that is a mark 22 oh it's just a regular lf mark 9 ah kill him 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 okay nice he is on fire there's the corsair f4u7 french corsair okay oh yeah look at that it is french and the fire is out hits that very much so should have been a kill. At least I feel that way. This is not going to end well for me. Yep. Okay. Another 34k down the drain. At least he didn't survive. That's what matters. Oh boy. That's a P-51. That's an FTG. I know that because I spotted them just a few minutes ago. And the only other fighter that was up at this altitude with me dove on a Lancaster and didn't even kill him. There's the F2G and yeah same team composition as last match so that's fun. Oh I didn't have my freaking cannon selected dude. I think I wing tipped him. I'm not staying up here with that guy. Nope. 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 Uh uh. I am not gonna do with you up at high altitude I know how bad that can go p51h at anything at any altitude really is a very scary prospect but at high altitude um yeah forget it there goes a flap all right come on the only way I can expect to win this is if he messes up which he did Oh, if I had flaps, if I had my flaps, oh my god, if I had my flaps, dude. Asymmetric flap extension, okay, well, I know that F2G crashed, I didn't even get credit for that, that's unfortunate, alright, come on, get some speed, get some speed, pull on him, let's pull on him, come on. Dang it, dude. No dice. 
A low energy engagement like this, uh, I feel like, yeah, I'm gonna pull on him again. Crits, nice. And he's on fire. I gotta cool the engine, oil, water, all that fun stuff. Did that? Okay, no. He did not die to the 84, it's a different 84. Okay, cool. Where is... There he is, I see him over there. Oh, hello. Alright. Yes, FW190. Alright, Tempest is going for him, I think. I'm gonna turn on the Tempest. Who pulled up to me? Eee! Okay. Set him on fire. He shot at my fuel tank pretty bad. I just bumped my microphone. Oh my god! Okay. Nope. Stay away from me. And that's a kill. There's the AD4 over there. I'm gonna mark him kinda like over there. Kinda. Uh, no. Not quite that far. Kind of like right there. Alright, PP4 Wild Lancaster, we did get up tier to 6.7, unfortunately. So, oh my god, I wish that people would stop playing bombers because they don't add anything to the team. Some F2Gs, I did say we got up to 6.7, PP4 Y. Is, I don't know what he's doing going oh, okay I don't I don't appreciate you doing that ow that kind of hurt a little bit all right and a Lancaster is entering the stratosphere all right people forward down Lancaster is turning to meet me um it well, okay no he just turned I'm gonna use combat flaps and all right damage to elevator and there goes his tail I don't know how he's still shooting his oh I didn't shoot off his tail I shot off his tail I didn't shoot off his empanage that's what I meant okay a couple angry looking f2gs oh yeah yep yeah, he's mad Go away. Nope. I don't want what you're selling. Nope. Nope. No. No. BF109. Little shaky on that pass. Alright. These double wasp engines might give me some problems. Okay. That's unceremonious. That's not a fun way to uh, to die, but oh well, shit happens. Alright my dudes, that's going to be it for today. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, um, I do feel like it, it still feels like the worst best 6.3 aircraft in the game. Uh, in the first battle, uh, got out climbed very rapidly, even by uh, a Kiko, which is surprising to me. I don't know if they get nurse one or not, but that that surprised me. It really did because generally props will always outclimb first generation jets, and that kind of caught me off guard. Um, Bearcat almost did me in. P51 eventually did, and then you know you just kind of get outclimbed and outperformed by uh, other planes of the BR. Didn't get any down tiers unfortunately, so I couldn't really demonstrate the strengths of this plane in a way that really would have showed them off. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.